a lot of people in the industry got used to virtual production very quickly. They made a textbook on how to do it and then they stopped there. One of the magic tricks for Dimension is that we're not playing by a playbook. The demo that we're doing starts with a hand-drawn storyboard. We're going to create a shot of four characters hiking in a forest. The demo is sort of a proof of concept for our special situation, which is two stages next to each other. We've got a motion capture next door in stage two, and then we have the LED volume here. What's unique about today's demo is that we've introduced the idea of directable mid-ground characters virtually. So two of our characters are costume actors, and two of our characters are actually digital humans, metahumans in this case, that are being puppeteered in real time in our performance capture space. The background actors being directable means that you don't have to have pre-baked animation. You could be next door blocking out what your extras are doing so that when you come in here, there's a natural movement, natural animation. They're real dynamic animations with real people doing movements and it sells the authenticity of the scene. The performance capture setup we've got here is pretty refined. We have full body tracking, we have face tracking, and we have hands and fingers. And what that allows you to do is get quite nuanced performance. There's a point in the sequence where our two virtual characters have to traverse some rocks and it's a bit wobbly and they've got to help each other. So you've got one reaching out their hand to the other and helping them balance. And this is done with full hand tracking. So we've got actual touching and interface between the two characters. These are the kind of refinements and nuances that help with the storytelling process. We've had a couple of different environments to play with. One has been a day exterior in the woods. That has been lit by a kind of three-quarter backlight. The sun is in that position. And on set, we've got a combination of some soft lights, some kind of traditional film lights like sky panels, and some harder lights, mole beams, to create shafts of sunlight to match the background. Because the scene is dynamically lit, we can change all elements of the lighting live. We did prep a night scene, so we had some specially saved lights, but we were able to just flick a couple sub-levels and a couple snapshots and we're into the new scene. So it can be done in less than a minute. I think it has been impressive to see the switch from a day scene to a night scene. We've had a moonlight scene in the forest in the same world that's been built for the day scene. And hopping between the day scene with mole beams and the night scene with a 360 sky panel in the background to create that three-quarter backlight has been very easy. If you think about one of the key things you'd expect in virtual production, it's to have mid-ground characters, people that are filling your virtual world. And here we are doing it. We're able to not just put them in there, but make them fully interactive. The latency between a performance capture happening here and it's showing up on the LED wall is as low as the virtual camera that's moving in unison with the real camera. It's a space that doesn't stay still. There's always more to do in terms of bringing better fidelity, lowering cost, constantly looking at the landscape and seeing where can we go next with our capabilities.